Hi there, welcome to my channel, today we will be upgrading the hard drive of, Spox to SSD. I have the third generation Xbox One S All Digital Edition, the last one to have HDD. The fourth generation comes with SSD by default. The most difficult part of this Xbox disassembly was removing the bottom cover, especially without the proper tools. You need to have an opening pry tool, and I was using my wife's manicure tool, I was bound to make some scratches here and there. Finally, after much struggle was able to remove the bottom cover but damaged the pairing button, no big issue, some hot glue and will be good as new. Need to remove the six green screws to remove the upper plastic cover. Pull a little in the back and slide out the upper cover. revealing the inner aluminium case. Remove the three screw holding the top cover and then slide it open. First need to remove the bracket holding the hard drive. For this need to remove two screws at the bottom.
then disconnect the cables connected to the board. Remove the hard drive from the bracket. Remove the connector from the HDD. We will be replacing this with the Kingston A400 SATA 960GB SSD. As per Kingston website the speed of SSD is 500 megabytes per second read, 450 megabytes per second write, which is much faster compared to the old drive. I should have gone for one terabyte version, we'll explain why, later in this video. Blowing air and cleaning to get rid of any dust. Connect the connector to the new SSD. Screw the SSD to the bracket. Connect back the power and SATA cable to the board. Put back the two screw holding the bracket at the back. Slide the top aluminium cover and put back the three screws holding the cover. Before we put back the plastic covers, let's install the OS and see if everything is working fine. Search for Xbox Offline Update in Google and open the official Xbox support website. You need a minimum 8 GB USB flash drive. Select the file system as NTFS and format the drive.
download the OSU one. And then extract it. Transfer the system update folder to flash drive. Connect the flash drive to the Xbox front or back USB port. Press the pair button and unbutton together. You should get a screen like this. Select offline update option and press the A button in your controller, it will start installing. This will take some time and the console may restart couple of times. You will be required to go through the initial setup process of connecting to the internet and signing in your account details. To my surprise the storage was showing only 365 gigabytes of storage, it should show around 700 gigabytes. I had to remove the cover again to check what went wrong. For some reason the Xbox is identifying the SSD as 500 gigabytes and creating the partitions accordingly, for this reason I said earlier that I should have gone for 1 terabyte instead of 960 gigabytes SSD. Tried many solutions and reinstalled the OS many time, the result was same, I decided to later replace this SSD with 1 terabyte SSD. Anyhow the game loading time has been reduced drastically. Placing back the aluminum and plastic cover, put back the six green screws holding the top plastic cover. Use some hot glue to hold the pairing button to the bottom cover. Finally place the bottom cover properly and push. Running Crystal Disk Benchmark Test on both the drives, the SSD is reaching well above 300 megabytes read and write. Hope the video was helpful and thanks for watching. Please do subscribe, like, share and comment.